Uh, hey everybody, just uh, wanted to make a video. This is part one of a car audio test bench I'm building. This is a multi-purpose use for me. Um, going to be using this to test 12 volt items like uh, line converters, head units, amplifiers, that kind of stuff. And it, it's also going to be able to play music and um, I could use it to, to keep my battery charged to uh, tune DSPs. So it's it's gonna be cool when it's all done. Um, I just wanted to do part one here. It's the raw frame and I carpeted it. And I just kinda wanna kinda go through it a little bit here. And uh, part two, when I get everything installed in it, it'll be about a month or two from now. Just wanted to get this one out there now. Um, it's gonna have, on the side here, we're gonna have our uh, plug-in. I'm gonna put a set, uh, receptacle there. It's just gonna plug right into the wall. And we're going to put some uh, Poke Audio component speakers in there, DB5252s. On the bottom, we're just doing some Kenwood coaxials. Head unit's going to go in there. I'll do those on both sides. And then you can see these little slits here in the carpet. Um, they're going to be terminals for the speakers. If, you, if I want to play the speakers, um, you would just go through these terminals. And then on the bottom here, um, these here are going to be our these three bigger ones here are going to be our pre <clears throat> sorry getting something in my throat going to be our preamps they're going to be cooked to the head unit that's going to go in here it's a double din kenwood so these will be quick access to the preamps front rear and sub and then these will be the speaker level outputs here from the from the uh head unit so if you want to test a line converter or a DSP or something, you want to send uh, your speaker levels into that side. And then this bottom slit here is going to be just a 12 volt and a ground for smaller items like DSPs and line converters. And then there's two little holes, you can't see them, but they're push terminal cups for power and a ground for like uh, amplifier, uh, you know, thicker gauge wire if you want to do that. Because my power supply that I'm going to mount in the back is a 30 amp 12 volt, so you should be able to test amplifiers with it too let me turn around here <laughs> yeah i just got it framed and carpeted today so this is what the back looks like uh, i'm going to put a cover on the back i think i'm just what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put some velcro around this edge here and then just basically take like a piece of uh Either like a thin board, real thin board, like maybe eighth inch thick or three eighths if that, or just a piece of carpet, you know, and put Velcro on it just as a cover. Um, really, I don't even need a cover on it, but just for aesthetic purposes, I'm going to put some type of a cover on there. Okay, and then my power supply is going to go somewhere in here, and my, crosso my crossover boxes for the poke audio components here are going to go up here that's the plan anyway but you know how car audio is things change on a dime and then i kind of did a you can see i kind of rabbited those holes out a little bit by hand it doesn't look that great because i'm flush mounting those tweeters and i just i had I, the cup didn't stick out far enough so i had to go i had to go in there and uh route some of that out so i could get my my flush rounding mounting ring the teeth thing it goes, it presses in there, and then the, um, the tweeter cup, like, gr it grabs the tweeter cup and holds it in. So, I don't have a rabbit bit for this, or whatever bit you would call it. I'm not real, uh, you know, savvy with a router. I don't use them that much. But I did use it to, uh, to cut my speaker holes. They're perfectly round. I used a, a homemade jig for cutting circles with a router. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the thing with a router is you got to use a good bit. Don't be buying those cheap Chinese bits, man. Those things will burn up and uh, break. You'll be halfway through the circle. I think I went through about six of them. <laughs> Finally, I went and got a, a good Craftsman one, and it's never broke. It never it never even budges. Hardly even gets hot. So once I get this thing done, about a month or two from now, I'll do part two of this video with everything installed in it, and then we'll kind of go through it again. Thanks for watching, guys.